Hi, I'm Leah Huber, Bonterra's chef and organic life aficionado and founder of Nourish Network. And I'm going to show you how to grill a whole fish today with lemon and parsley. You want to choose a fish that's already cleaned and scaled and look for clear, glassy eyes that lets you know that it's fresh. So the first thing we're going to do is rub our fish with just salt and pepper, really simple. You could add other spices to this if you wanted to. I like to mix it in a little bowl so that I'm not getting fishy stuff all over my salt container. So go ahead and put it in a little bowl and then we're just going to rub the inside and the outside of the fish with it. Then once we've got it salted and peppered, we're going to add some lemon slices and some parsley. I'm also going to just rub the fish with some olive oil before I put it on the grill to keep it from sticking. All right, our fish is ready for the grill. Got about a medium high fire here. I'm going to transfer it to direct heat. You can hear that sizzle starting. And we'll cover it up. After about five minutes, you're going to want to flip your fish over the backbone and then move it back to the direct heat using two spatulas. Look at that. Our fish is done. When you're taking the fish off the grill, you're doing it opposite of when you were flipping it over the backbone. This time you're actually going to be going in from the backbone. So you want to get your spatulas under the fish and then just transfer it to your platter there. Look at that. Did you see how easy that was? I'm telling you, there's no reason to fear fish. Trust me, it's nice and moist from the lemon. It's really flavorful from the salt and the pepper and the parsley. And I'm going to add a little bit more flavor by just drizzling on a very, very simple salsa verde, which I basically blammed um, parsley, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of white wine vinegar, and some olive oil in a blender. And that's your salsa verde, absolutely gorgeous. I like to pair lean grill items with leaner wines. So I'm pairing this with the Bonterra Sauvignon Blanc, um, also because this has a lot of citrus notes in it, and this has a lot of citrus notes in it, and I think they're gonna pair beautifully together, so we're gonna give it a try. Oh, just see how moist that is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. For more extreme grilling, go to organiclife on bonterra.com.